explains why these fireys are preparing to set off the Brecky Central, their emotional tour of duty is straight ahead. It's eight minutes to seven o'clock. We know just how wonderful our emergency service personnel are during times of disaster and tragedy. During better times, though, they are just as amazing. This morning, 16 firefighters from all over Australia will be running over the Sydney Harbour Bridge to meet us here at sunrise. Now, later this year, that same bunch of blokes will run across the United States in support of their American colleagues. They'll also be raising money for hospital burns units right across Australia. Reporter Peter Morris will be following them, running with them every step of the <laughs> way. There is the challenge, Zuma. Tell us about their journey. Oh, I don't know whether I'll be running. I'm going to lose about 10 kg <laughs> if I try that. But, uh, gee, what a logistical exercise to get all these guys here. But we've done it. And uh, this is the tour of duty. This is the official launch here today. Now, what it is all about is uh, remembering those who died uh, in the collapse of the Twin Towers on September 11. And everybody feels very passionate about it. All these guys are, are pretty passionate. One of the most passionate is uh, Paul Ritchie, who's organised this. Paul, just what does it mean to you to, to run for these people? Well, we're very proud, Peter, as you know. Uh, all of us here representing right across Australia. To, uh, to commemorate 9-11 and all the good work that all the emergency service workers do. Fantastic. Now, get onto this, Koshi. This is 7,500 kilometres. We run from Los Angeles. We get there about the 2nd of August. Uh, we get to, to New Orleans after we uh, turn left at Albuquerque. We go to Chicago uh, north and then into New York, arriving on the morning of September 11. And what these guys are doing, they're actually picking up uh, fireys and uh, emergency service workers on their run on the way. There could be as many as 10,000 people running across the, Brook the Brooklyn Bridge uh, on the morning of September 11. So what a sight that will be. But the other beautiful thing, as you mentioned, they're uh, also collecting funds for all their state-based charities. Uh, the uh, major burns units at the hospitals in each state, Koshi. OK, all right, if they're going to head over here, you better uh, get them on their way for us yeah, and, yeah, and right we'll on. talk to them in the next hour. Uh, all right, well, we all got water, boys. We're all organised. We're ready yeah. to go. Ready to go. All right, OK. Well, let's wake up Kira Billy. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let me tell you, the ladies of Kirribilli are just sort of coming out to cheer them on their way, I think. 16 firemen. Excellent. They're coming here, aren't they? Yep. Oh, good. OK. <laughs> hey, uh, let's check in with our fireys while we're watching fit blokes. 16 of them from all over the country are running through Sydney to meet us here at Sunrise. Now, later this year, these guys are going to run across the United States in support of their American colleagues. It's their way of remembering the hundreds of emergency services workers who died on September 11. The boys will be arriving here at Martin Place soon. They've crossed the bridge, those pictures, a few minutes ago. Here they are, live running through the streets of Sydney. Can't wait to see them when they get here. Great bunch of blokes. Still... The fireys have arrived. Brecky Central is first stop on their tour of duty. Well, they made it. This morning we've been following the journey of 16 firefighters who've run across the Sydney Harbour Bridge to come and see us here at sunrise. But let me tell you, this is only the start of big things for them. This is nothing. Their next stop is the United States. You don't tell them that this is nothing. <laughs> um, in August, the boys are going to run right across America. They will arrive at the site of the World Trade Centre on September 11. And firefighter Paul Ritchie has been putting all of this together and he joins us now, a tad hot and sweaty, but that's OK. <laughs> You've just had a big run. Yeah, I apologise for that. Uh, had a bit of a run. As you can see, all the guys here are very hot. But uh, we've begun our journey running across the Sydney Harbour Bridge and we'll finish by running across uh, the Brooklyn Bridge in, in September. We're very much looking forward yeah. to it. And, you know, and, and relevant today on the eve of the Black Saturday bushfires, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great statement for us as emergency service workers to, to commemorate not only the Black Saturday, but also to why we're running uh, for 9-11 to commemorate all the people that were lost. Yep. We spoke to you last year about it. This is the next step, and we're going to follow your journey across the United States. Now, just remind us where you're going, because you're not actually taking the shortest route, are you? 
Well, when we planned it, uh, the actual route is seven and a half thousand kilometres. Yeah, as you say, Koshi. And uh, look, we're uh, we're running from uh, Vegas to uh, well, LA to Vegas to Albuquerque to to uh, New Orleans, right up to Chicago, and then uh, Chicago into Washington and to New York. So it's uh, it's about 30 days all up, uh, and it's it's going to be a long journey and a hot one. You've also got some amazing high-profile support. Of course, we've got tennis ace Pat Rafter. We've got uh, actor Hugh Jackman. We've got a little message from them. Have a look. May your team make us proud and carry the passion of all your comrades. And be sure when you reach the hollow ground of the World Trade Centre, you're going to have a beer from me. I'll be running with you in spirit, guys, like all Aussies. Go get them. Paul, guys, all of you, you're crazy. You're nuts. You're going to be very hot. I don't want to be there at the end of the day when you take your shoes off because the bliss is going to be shocking and I don't know if there'll be any skin left on the bottom of your feet, particularly when you run through the centre of America. I don't know if anyone's told you about that. But uh, you're running during summer, you're all nuts and I love you for it.